Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since I uploaded a video. Um, I feel like it's going on two weeks. I am so sorry for being MIA. Um, it's just my daughter was sick, I wasn't feeling good, and then I felt like I wasn't like in the best mental state of health either. So I felt like I was just coming across very sad, very blah. Um, so I just wanted to take some time to kind of just give myself a little like breather and just focus like really on my family and just kind of, you know, get myself back to being chirpy and happy and just, you know, feeling great. As you saw in the title, in today's video, we are gonna be testing out Dollface. Dollface is like a brand that you can find at like the drugstore. So Rite Aid um, around me is the store that sells Dollface. I don't know if any other stores sell this brand, um, but every single time I go into the store Rite Aid and just, you know, to pick up medicine or to get something else, um, I always, no matter what store I go into, I always check out like the makeup section. And I always pass this beautiful display of the brand Dollface. And I've never tried anything from this brand. So I know they're not new to the drugstore. I'm not saying that they are new. I'm not saying any of these products are new, but they are new to me. And I want to test them out. I finally just kind of picked up a whole bunch of items. Um, so I'm super excited to test out a new brand. Before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified every single time I upload another video. All right, let's get started. So I don't know why, if it's like the lights, the cameras, but my dark like under eyes are so emphasized on camera. I don't know why. I do not look like this raccoonish in person, I swear. Like, I look like I'm completely dead on camera. I have no idea why that is. So the only thing I do not have from Dollface is primer, setting powder, um, foundation, or setting spray. So just those four items. Everything else I do have. Um, so to prime my face, I'm just going to go in with uh, two e.l.f. products because I still want to keep it affordable in drugstore. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. And then I'm also going to go, and then I'm also going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, Putty Primer. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiance Serum Foundation. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this as well. And then to set my face for the under eyes, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and the NYX um, Finishing Powder on like the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that and then we're gonna bounce in to doll face. All right, so primer and foundation is on. So of course, before I set my face, I do have to apply the concealer first. So the concealer that I picked out is the doll face Stretch It Out Concealer. And this one, ah, uh, what shade is this? In the shade Nude. I feel like Dollface at Rite Aid is almost like Pixie. Like their prices are not horrible, but they can get a little bit up there. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's super, super cute. It does have um, like a sponge tip applicator. Squeeze some out, because I think that's what you do. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so you have to like twist it to unlock it. Wait, did I lock it? It's so hard to know. Okay, I think I finally opened it up. Oh my God, this is weird packaging. I don't like the packaging for sure. So I finally got to squeeze some up. And I don't know how like what the dry down is going to be so we're just gonna oh I think I put a lot oh my god I think I put too much okay very brightening <laughs> so this concealer is like great when it comes to coverage it's very creamy it looks very hydrating like under the eye it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy um, obviously I don't know how it's gonna wear throughout the day but so far I'm like really excited this it says this no crease long wear coverage moves with your expressions to blank out blemishes and perfections discolorations and dark circles so I would say yes. I would want it in a little bit of a deeper color for like the rest of my face, but for my under eye, because even that was a little bit too bright. I do like this concealer so far. 
like I said, it just kind of, the packaging could be a little different. All right, so I don't look like a total zombie anymore. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm just gonna go ahead, like I said earlier, and use the Halo Glow setting powder for under my eye. I know it said that it doesn't crease, but uh, it's so creamy and like moisturizing that it definitely looks like it's gonna it's definitely creasing already so I wouldn't say that it's not gonna crease without setting it maybe like once you set it maybe but without setting it it's it's gonna crease <laughs> all right and then I'm just gonna go in with my um, no filter finishing powder from NYX. I do have a cream blush that I kind of forgot about, so we're gonna just try to make it work up on top of powder, but normally you would want to um, powder last when you're using cream products, so I didn't hit my cheeks too much yet. So I'm just gonna kind of powder underneath more. All right, so hopefully that is better. Um, <laughs> that lighting was literally driving me crazy. Like, I wish I would have done that right from the beginning because now I feel like I look more alive and not so zombie-ish. Next, we are going to jump into cream blush before I put any other powder on my face before I forget. So this is the Doll Face Pillow Perfect Gel Cushion Blush. I did get mine in like a purple mauve color just because I have so many like peachy, pinky cream blushes. Um, I do have some of these shades as well, but not as much. So I thought I step away from like the pinky coral peachy blush shades um, and get something a little different. Um, but this one's in the shade Gossip and it says just a dab makes cheeks pop. The sheer buildable gel looks like your natural glow only better. So I am very excited about that. So I'm just going to go in with this littlest, the littlest dab. Um, and we're gonna kind of just go from there so I'm just gonna keep it on my the high points and just smile smile and blend it's giving me a little bit of a hard time to blend, but I believe it is because I did, like I say, powdered my face. So I'm not going to hold it against that. I wish it would be a little bit more diffuse, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to like pick up my product underneath. So I'm not gonna be too harsh with it but I mean it looks definitely looks pretty and I just basically go right underneath where I would put highlight like almost where I would put highlight but just right underneath that wow you really do need just a dab I know it said it's buildable but I really don't think it's sheer that you would need to like build it like it really does pack a punch so like that little dab, like I still have pretty much. So you really need like the littlest, littlest amount. Um, but these are absolutely freaking beautiful. This side blended a little bit better than this side because I think I had less powder on this side or maybe I didn't even powder at all yet um, on this side. So this side did blend a lot better. So just remember not to, because some blushes here lately have been really good with blending on top of powder. Um, for instance, I believe the elf putty blushes are pretty good with doing that um so but not all of them so just be cautious of that okay this doesn't like um feel like sticky and tacky either and it looks glowy but it doesn't there's no glitter in it and it but it doesn't feel like it's gonna just move around and slip around um so that's good to bronze up my skin i got the doll face glow baby glow illuminating bronzer and highlighter trio so i am very excited to try this out this is what the packaging looks like it's so pretty and i don't know what they mean by highlighting exactly um but it does come with a mirror so i'm gonna try not to blind you but this is what it looks like 
Um, it's just, to me, it just looks like a bunch of different bronzers. Um, so I don't know. But this one looks like it might be a little bit on the warmer side for right now for it being winter. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade and maybe this shade to like contour. I don't know. It's my first time playing with any of these products. So I'm kind of just, um, I'm kind of just like figuring it out in a way. Ooh. I feel like you can see a little bit more on my forehead versus where I put the blush. It's gonna be a little bit hard to like really get a good bronze. These are very pigmented for sure. And they do have like, um, I think they have like two different um, color stories. So I think the one that I picked up was the um this one's in beach bunny bronze i think there was one deeper than this i hope that's the only thing with these like smaller um brands at the drugstore is their like shade range just isn't always the best um i feel like bigger drugstore brands are still kind of working on that so i feel like that's the only problem um all right so not bad um i'm gonna go and use a like yeah i'm gonna go in with this shade here and just kind of use it to contour Ooh, pigmented so just be very cautious because you can see how pigmented that is so i'm just gonna blend 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 and then i'm just gonna take a little bit of that I'm just kind of just a little bit towards the back just to kind of chisel out cheek a little bit so first impressions I really am enjoying this bronzer palette um I didn't have any issues with that so cool moving on I did pick up this blush palette which I don't know if I'm gonna use because I feel like this cream blush already gave me like enough pigment <laughs> So, um, but it's so freaking beautiful and it's such a perfect blush palette for Valentine's Day. So this one is in the shade Retro Rouge, Sweep This Velvety Micro Nice Powder Over Cheeks for a soft and natural matte finish. This one is in, well here it does say Sophia is the actual like trio shade name so this is what this looks like this one i would say would maybe be beautiful in the summertime when i'm like really my darkest tannest i think in the winter i don't think i will be able to pull this one off um this one looks so beautiful um it's like a purple pale pink blush and then we have this one as well so i think i'm gonna add just a little bit of this like pale purple pink one um, just to kind of see like what it does and maybe I can tone down the blush a little bit Ooh. it did kind of add like a vibrant like pop to the cheeks like it really made that like that under that blush cream blush stand out even more it is a bit powdery but that's okay very very pretty we're very pinky today but just to kind of swatch this is what that blush looks like you see it's like a pale purple pink um, this is the purple one and then this one is the other one so such beautiful colors I got this one they did have like a coral one like a peachy one but again i wanted if i'm gonna buy new makeup i want it to be something i don't really have a lot of i know i look like i'm from alice in wonderland right now um but i promise <laughs> it's all gonna come together at least i hope um all right so to add some highlight back into my face this is something i'm actually really excited for it's the doll face all a all a glow illuminating face powder um when i opened it up to look at it it's not I don't know I feel like the pack I don't like the. I don't like this packaging um, I don't like the like vintage yellow color I don't know I just don't like it um, but besides that I do like the back like rose gold color and everything 
um, but this is a Sia doll skin. This silky finishing powder instantly perks up tired complexion. Um, and this one, I think, this one is just in translucent glow. And what I like though is that all these products do have mirrors, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna kind of hide the mirror so we don't blind you. But this is what this looks like. It just looks so freaking beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of something from like Clinique. Um, something that was really popular from them, but I can't remember. But I don't know. It just it just looks so freaking stunning, and I am very excited. All right, so let's add some glow. Ooh, so pretty. Anyways. Let's add some glow back. I feel like it's almost hard to tell. Um, Cause I don't know, it said a matte, it was a matte powder, but I almost feel like that powder added some glow to my blush. Like at first it looked like it mattified it, but now it looks glowy again, so. But I can see it though, like I can see the highlighter. It does look really, really good. My under eyes are creasing and I did set them already with powder. I wouldn't say it's creaseless. It does look really pretty and it is like just one of those like just translucent like glow from within type of powder. So I'm super excited to continue to play with this. It just looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna melt some of these powders into my face. So I'm just gonna use the Mavin Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I don't know if I'm going anywhere today, so I do want my makeup to last. So while my skin is drying, I'm actually gonna go in and do my brows. So I did pick up the Doll Face the Sculptress Chiseled Brow Pencil. I don't even know if I said that right, but anyways. Um, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. Um, my hair is starting to lighten up a bit. It was like a pretty nice, like darker brown color, um, but it is starting to fade a bit. So when I bought this, my hair was a bit darker. And then I also picked up the Supernatural Brow Tamer and Sealer. I did get mine in the shade clear just because I have been liking clear brow gels a little bit more than like the tinted ones here lately. I do still use tinted brow gels, but I do have quite a few of them. So I do like the, the clear ones um, a little bit more than what I used to. So, so this is what the brow pencil looks like. You do have your, of course, brow, you can see, it's like your brow tip. And then you have your spoolie on the other end. Um, and then this is what your brow gel looks like. So I do like the packaging. It looks very, very pretty. I guess I'm gonna use like the like tip part over here to kind of just outline my brows. Ooh, pigment. I don't really follow my natural shape um, of brow. Like usually like this tail end, I usually just get rid of because it kind of just drags my face down. I feel like this brow pencil is not too waxy, but it does have like a lot of pigment. So like just be a little careful, but that was quick and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow and then we will go ahead and try the gel and yeah. I, for one, I feel like I'm having a good brow day today. Anyways, um, but yeah, I really, really do love this brow pencil. I feel like it was so quick, so easy, and the perfect amount of pigment. It's not too waxy. Like, it's a good one. It's a good one. You might need to get used to the shape a little bit, um, but I can definitely look past the shape and work with it. Like, it's so good. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention before I forget, I should have mentioned it in the beginning of the video because I feel like not everyone kind of makes it this far, um, is that this? these products are cruelty-free, tested on starlets, not on animals, formulated responsibly. That is really nice. All right, so I'm just kind of getting some product. 
Okay. Not my favorite brow gel. It's it's very like liquidy, very like watery. Um definitely nice to kind of get the powder off your brows like if that's all what you're really looking for um something that's gonna maybe shape them a little bit but um if you're looking to do like a fluffy brow you're not gonna be able to do it with this here like i don't really do the fluffy brow but i do like to like make the hair the hairs in the front stand up a little bit make it a little fluffy um and this i wouldn't be able to do that with but it's a nice brow gel. It's it's not my favorite. I can tell automatically that it's not going to be my favorite, but it is a nice one for just like everyday makeup, just to kind of get rid of that powder brow or just kind of put a little something in your brows. If you want to get the tinted one, um, it would probably be super quick to just um, put through your brows and go. Although if it is very liquidy, it might be a mess. So just be a little cautious with it. Um, I don't know. I can't speak on the tinted one, but the clear one is okay. For eyeshadow i did pick up this palette here they had different eyeshadow palettes this one is the legendary naturals doll face of course it's from doll face 12 shade eyeshadow palette um and again this one's in legend legendary and neutrals um it says your go your go everywhere wear every time natural eyeshadow wardrobe it does come with a mirror so this is what the palette looks like oh my god it's like if you're a neutral queen you would very well so love this palette um so i want to do something a little pinky i'm going to go in with this shade right here it's like a very neutral kind of pink undertone um ooh, very powdery very powdery for sure um i just love how like the eyeshadows are too because it like you can see like it's not like i don't know they just look they they're, they look different in there but anyways um so yes yeah, so i'm gonna hopefully you guys can see i'm gonna go in and use um this shade right here and this is gonna be a very like simple quick fast makeup look oh it looks stunning so this is like a very basic neutral eyeshadow palette i mean i knew that when i bought it so i mean i can't do anything too like crazy with it um just gonna go i'm gonna go in with um the shade on the bottom here just to kind of give me a little bit more dimension on my lower lash line i'm just gonna take this like matte nude color put that on my brow bone just a little bit and then I'm gonna take this like shimmery champagne color and pop that in the inner corner the sun is definitely getting intense I am 100% getting my vitamin D so I feel like the shadowing is also going to be a little weird. Do I have to close the curtains? Ugh. So I just realized that my mic was not plugged. Like it was plugged in, but it wasn't on me. So I'm hoping that it did pick up my audio fine. Um, if it didn't, I would just do a voiceover because I'm not, we're not refilming again. Okay. I already had to scrap another video. It was the NARS reflecting like light foundation. I already did like a whole review. Um, and I just didn't like the way my makeup turned out like it wasn't the foundation It was just like overall like I just didn't like how my makeup looked in the video I didn't like where my how my camera was set up like the angle like there was just so many wrong wrong things with that video That I was just not confident enough to upload it. Um, so I scrapped it So we're not scrapping this one. We're just gonna keep going. I'll do a voiceover if I have to I don't care the shimmers. I think are gorgeous in this palette. Like let me just swatch wrist There we go I don't know if you guys can see, but like the shimmers in this palette is beautiful. The mattes are not really, you know, wowing me. They're not bad. They're just not wowing me. So I think this was probably the most expensive thing out of everything was the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think it was, yes, it was $18. So I would say pass on the eyeshadow palette. Um, the shimmers are beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Um, 
but I don't think they are still worth it. You know what I mean? I don't think it's worth buying an $18 palette at the drugstore. Um, it, the palette should really wow me if I'm paying $18 for a drugstore palette. So now to use a doll face liquid liner. This is the The Fine Line Lasting Matte Liquid Liner. Um, super fine and precise tip. It says the most precise liner in the world. We think so. Super fine cal calligraphy style tip add subtle matte drama to lash line all right so of course i did get mine in the shade black um oh did i write myself oh i kind of just wrote myself um but this is what it looks like so we are gonna go ahead and try this bad boy i'm not doing i'm not gonna do anything too crazy um i'm just gonna kind of just do like a and this this is felt ooh oh I just kind of messed up but it did kind of like at a certain angle it kind of just made my wing for me and then I just like totally messed it up so that was on me but I'm kind of just gonna do like a very flirty wing so if you are okay with a felt tip liner I think that this one is performing really really good it definitely looks pretty matte I feel like it looks pretty black too so I really really like it um, if you are more of a like brush tip then you're not gonna like this because it is felt tip but if you are okay with felt tip um, I think you would like this liner I don't like how I made my wings um, I wouldn't blame it on the liner at all I just I've been using shadow for so long now to do my like little natural wings so it's been a while since I used like an actual liner so bear with me um they are kind of related maybe cousins um but uh yeah so they're not horrible um but i do like the liner i really really do so if you are in the search of a new liner you want to try out a new liner this one again is the matte the fine line um liner so i do like that one moving on all right so next is mascara so i actually picked up two mascaras um one is for flutter worthy long lashes and then the other is thickens and defines so so i am very excited they are both of course in the shade black so this one is fierce flare length and sculpt which is like it looks a lot more skinnier and then this one's a little bit more chunkier because it is supposed to thicken and of course define your lashes so I am going to put one on one eye one on the other eye and then kind of just switch to kind of even them out so let's start off with the lengthening one so disclaimer I am using a lash serum right now so you know take that with a grain of salt um, so let's see This is a very, very dry, natural mascara. So like if you just want something to coat, take that powder off your lashes and just kind of make them a little existent, you'll like this. But if you want something that is going to replace your falsies, you're going to hate this. Mm -mm. So not a fan of this mascara. Um, I'm gonna try the Thicken and Define. Um, this is the Fab Flare and Volume Mascara. Ooh, so this one, okay, so before I move on really quickly, this one is like that, um, like that regular bristle um, wand, and it kind of has like a, almost like a comb kind of thing on it. Um, and then the Thicken, one the fab, fab flare volume one is the rubber bristle and it definitely is like bigger so we're gonna try this on the other eye and see So yeah, so automatically, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but automatically I like the thicken one better than the lengthening one. I feel like the thicken one gave me the length, um, 
that I was expecting from this one. I wouldn't say it gave me much volume. So if you're looking for length, I would just get the Thicken and Divine one. So this one is the Fab Flare and Volume one. If you're looking for length and a little bit of volume, get this one. If you're looking for like almost nothing, just something to coat your lashes, maybe to tint them or, you know, take the powder off, um, but you want something natural for the day and you don't want like a crazy mascara, um, then you might like the lengthening one. This one's the Fierce Flare Length and Sculpt one. Um, not a fan of this one. So I'm just going to go in. I don't even feel like I need to put the the other one on this eye because it's not really going to do much, but I am going to put the thicken one on this one just to kind of even them out a little bit. That one looks way better. So I'm going to let that dry and then I will do my lower lashes. Um, but to finish this look, I'm going to go in with one of their lipsticks. So this is the Doll Face Velvet Hug Lipstick and it's their rouge, lipstick rouge. Um, and yeah, this is their Velvet Hug line, and this one's in the shade Embrace. Ooh, I, sh I need an eye I need a lip liner, but I forgot to grab one, so I'm just gonna put this straight on my lips. We will see, we will see. I, I do have some dry lips, I do have to exfoliate them, so don't mind that. Ooh, ooh, it, oh my God. I, okay, so it has like a dip in it. I don't know if you can see that. So it kind of already look, in a way it looks like someone used the hell out of my lipstick already, but it has like a nice hug. So it actually like hugs your lips. Again, I wish I had like a lip liner. Ooh, I love the lipstick though. It's literally so comfortable. It feels really nice on the lips. Um, it doesn't say it's a matte. I think it's just supposed to be like a velvet. It's kind of like a satin finish. Very, very pretty. Okay, let me put a little bit of mascara on. I'm gonna use the lengthen one on my lower lashes. Just because I don't always want a whole lot of curry for this. All right, so this is the final look. Time for my like quick final thoughts on everything. We tried out definitely a lot. Um, so I want to, I would say the things that I would um, just kind of pass on um, just by first impression is the eyeshadow palette. This is $18 and to be honest, it's really nice. If you're a huge neutral fan, like that's not the issue with this palette. It's just that the mattes are kind of just eh for me. Um, and the, the shimmers are nice, like I mentioned earlier, but um, Elf, Wet n Wild, you know, there's just other other good eyeshadows at the drugstore that you don't need to spend $18 on this palette. Um, so I would say just pass on that. Um, the Fierce Flare Lengthening Scott Mascara is a total for me. I would just say it's not, eh. Um, and then I want to say the only other thing that was a kind of like a flop for me um, is the concealer. I'm going to play with it some more. So of course, like these aren't my final, final thoughts. I might play with these things and be like, oh, I actually really do like it. Um, so, you know, this is first impressions. I don't know for sure if the things that I like right now, I'm going to like in a couple weeks or a couple months. Um, and the stuff that I don't like right now, I might end up falling in love with. You don't know. So as of right now, this concealer is not quite doing it for me. It's creasing a lot on my under eye and I set it pretty well with powder. So the fact that it's creasing so much, um, I'm gonna continue to play with it. I'm gonna set it the way I normally set my concealers here lately um, and kind of just test it out from there. But as of right now, um, I wanna say automatically right now, I'm passing on these three products. Um, everything else though, I would say definitely go ahead and buy and try if you're interested in it. Um, these face palettes are super, super cute and they are definitely pigmented. There are several, I wouldn't say several, but like a four to five different shades in the cream blush. Um, again, super pigmented and just very like pow. So, um, these were really, really nice as well. Um, this mascara, I want to say I really do actually like it. It actually almost reminds me 
oh my god i'm just thinking about this right now it almost reminds me of the upswing mascara that i've been really loving from um uh bite beauty oh my god i'm gonna have to test it out side by side to be completely honest but it's giving me it's giving me those vibes i only did one coat um so i would have to play with it a little bit more side by side but it's definitely giving me some dupes alert um and yeah um oh another thing i want to say that i would pass on is the kind of the clear brow gel this was just not a favorite of mine but i would try out the brow pencil this um definitely and they have different ones as well like different shapes and stuff so definitely i would check out the brow pencils um and the matte liner is definitely something that i would continue to use as long as it doesn't like bleed or because it looks super super black and it looks like a the matte hmm. It looks pretty matte. I want to say it's not the mattest eyeliner I've ever seen, but it does look pretty matte. Um, and yeah, I think looking over everything, I think I talked about everything. So thank you guys so much for watching this video um, and spending some time with me. Comment down below. Let me know the products that you are thinking about trying or if there's any products that I tried that you are actually like you really, really like. Is there other products from this brand that I didn't pick up yet and that you think I should try? Comment down below and let it grow now. That is everything. Until next time. Bye, guys.